Let's now move on and for more on this, in fact, we are being joined live by Ambassador Anil Vadwa from New Delhi. He's a former Secretary of Ministry of External Affairs and former Indian Ambassador to Belarus, Italy and Thailand. Ambassador Vadwa, firstly, what do you make of Mr. S. J. Shankar's comment about cross-border terrorism? Yes, it was obliquely mentioned. No direct uh, references were made there. How do you read this? Well, I think uh, two very important points that uh, the Foreign Minister Jashanka made uh, in his speech. One was about, he started off by talking about the charter of the SCO, uh, which which essentially is based on uh, um, uh, no terrorism, no separatism, no extremism. And in that context, he, he talked about uh, the fact that, uh, you know, in, the, in an atmosphere of cross-border terrorism, uh, and in the presence of uh, separatism and extremism, you cannot have trade and energy flows and collaboration and business connectivity. Second important point was uh, the respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity and non-discriminatory uh, trade rights in the context of connectivity projects. Now, that's definitely um, a context of uh, the Chinese uh, project of BRI, which passes through Pakistan and connects to Gwadar, uh, where India has always been opposed to the idea uh, of the fact that, uh, you know, it should respect uh, other countries' territorial rights, sovereignty, etc., etc. And India has always been uh, clearly articulating its stand on those. Other than that, I think uh, the spirit of cooperation and uh, uh, the initiatives that India has taken in that regard, the CDRI, International Solar Alliance, Mission Life, Biofuel Alliance, and the Big Cat Alliance, they were all, they all found a mention in the speech. Uh, so it was made in a spirit of cooperation, but at the same time making clear that an atmosphere has to be created between neighbors for this cooperation. Mr. Vadwa, if I have to look at the macro picture between the two neighbors, yes, it is the first visit by a high-level Indian dignitary in almost a decade to Pakistan, and this comes uh, after his counterpart visited Goa last year for the same summit. Uh, just to understand the macro picture, how much of a bearing will it actually have on the thawing of relations between India and Pakistan? So before, uh, you know, he left for this meeting, uh, the external affairs minister made it clear that uh, he was there only for the for the multilateral context and the SCO meeting and uh, representing the prime minister and uh, that the bilateral aspect was not something that was going to be discussed uh, during this uh, this meeting but at the same time as you rightly pointed out the fact that a foreign minister of india is visiting pakistan after 9 years itself is a major achievement and I expect that, uh, you know, going forward from here, there would be some expectations which would be raised on both sides for some kind of a thaw in the relationship. Mm. But that actually depends a lot on how Pakistan behaves and what happens to its policy, its sponsored policy of, uh, uh, policy of state sponsored terrorism, cross border terrorism. If that uh, an issue that can be overcome by Pakistan, then of course things can move forward between the two countries. Okay, thank you so much, Ambassador Anil Vadva, for your time and joining us on the broadcast today. Thank you. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.